What up? I'm Danny Krellis and this is No Hablo Espanol, the show that always roots for the underdogs, unless the underdog's fighting a Latino. With that said, I got my man Miguel Gomez here. Oh, man, One of the stars of Southpaw, it's in theaters July 24th. Yes, sir. Thanks so much for coming to the show. Um, just tell me a little bit about your character in the movie. I know Jake Gyllenhaal's in it, 50 Cent, Rachel McAdams. Tell me a little bit about the role you play. Forrest Whitaker. Forrest Whitaker. Una Lawrence. Oh, wow, you guys got it. You guys um, got it. Yeah, I play a character named Magic, uh, Miguel Magic Escobar. He's a young fighter that's um, trying to get his shot at the title. You know, I think uh, deeper than that, he's, he's someone that comes from poverty. Mm -hmm. in, the, in the film, you'll see a small clip of, of the circumstances that his family is living in. And really, he just wants to make it. You know, he just wants to be somebody. And in the sport of boxing, closed mouths don't get fed. You know, if you don't make noise, nobody's going to pay attention to no you. No doubt. And so what he's doing is he's, he's sort of calling out Billy because he really wants to be like Billy. You know, he looks up to Billy and admires Billy and really doesn't understand why Billy won't even give him the time of day or acknowledge him at all, you know, because he feels like if Billy was in that position, he would do the same thing. Yeah. And then, you know, in the midst of all that, egos collide, accidents happen, and it's a tragedy, a terrible tragedy that, you know, they're both going to have to live with for the rest of their lives, and uh, some really hard lessons have to be learned. So you're, you're not playing the quintessential, like, villain boxer role. Like, you're, like are people going to root for you as well as root for Jake? Is, is there any, like... Like, especially even, like, the Latinos. Cause right. like, like I said in the beginning, like, yeah. you know, I'll root for the Latino boxer, like, all the time. Right. I mean, it, it's, it's tough to really gauge what people or the audiences are going to connect to. You know, first and foremost, it's a father-daughter story. It's a yeah. story about love. You know, and my character is sort of the catalyst for these lessons that, that uh, Billy Hope mm -hmm. um, goes through. And, um, you know, I just try to connect to the, to the human side of the character, you know, being somebody that comes from rough environment, at, at tough elements, and really just wants a chance. I try to connect to that more than, than I mean, the way he goes about getting the fight yeah. is, is maybe not, uh, not the ideal way to do it. But, uh, but it's know, realistic to It's, it's realistic, realistic to sometimes. boxing, you know, to the way the boxing is set up. You know, totally. it's a business. It's all about marketing. And if you, if you don't market yourself, you won't be heard. So how did that role come about? How did, did you audition for it? How did you find out about it? Yeah, I met with uh, the director, Anton Fuqua, who mm -hmm. was a boxer himself, mm -hmm. you know, and it was really adamant about getting the boxing part of it right. And the first thing he told me in our meeting was, we're going to do this for real. Real we're punches. Not, yeah, real, you know, real punches. You're going to get in there with real fighters. You're going to go to training camp as if you were a boxer. You're going to live a clean lifestyle like a boxer. You're going to eat like a boxer. And... Um, and, and that's what we need, you know, that's what we need from you if we're going to do it. We're going to get the real cameramen from HBO Showtime that, that, that filmed the fights. Wow. The real referees. Totally. And, uh, and if, you know, you're going to be a part of this, we want that full commitment. And, and you know, I was, I was... So you got to punch Jake Gyllenhaal. Well, you know, we learned, um, we spent about seven, eight hours a day in the gym. Yeah. Um, training, learning choreography, learning footwork, the science of boxing, because it's such a science. It's, mm -hmm. such, it's such a chess game. And uh, yeah, we learned a lot of choreography, but um, when, when the lights were on and that we had the crowd, you know, cheering, you come out of the tunnel with your music and, 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 and yeah, you get into those moments and, and the fight is so emotional and it's, and it's rooted in so much anger and animosity between these two fighters yeah. that we, yeah, we went to some really dark places and, and, and got angry for real and sometimes lost control. But, wow, uh, and, and yeah, we hit each other all the time, but it all came from, from a place of love and respect that we had built up during training camp you know we couldn't we couldn't have gone to those places and, and hit each other if if we truly didn't like each other because yeah, you know totally. th that would defeat you know the purpose we wouldn't be productive at all we'd just be in there you know fighting so we always knew there was an accident and before every uh before every take anton fuqua the director would tell us you know protect each other he created a yeah. safe space for us to sort totally. of go all out did you get hurt at all did yeah we got some bruises and some and some you know i got i got cut in the back of the head because i um some of the some of the takes there was they would put the cameraman inside the ring. Yeah, and uh, we had a choreography, and the cameraman would sort of try to follow that choreography. But again, once you get punched in the face, you know all that goes out the window, <laughs> and you start trying to survive. You yeah. know, and so uh, he wasn't expecting me, I guess, to to move a certain way, and I and I ran into the camera and uh, and cut the back of my head, kind of like LeBron James did. Like I felt yeah, his pain yeah. in, in, the, in the final. <laughs> did, was did, like, you didn't, did you not like go crazy like he did? Did you? You hold it together a little I, bit I better? Stay, I stayed in the game. You didn't yeah. flop? <laughs> no, I stayed in the game. Thanks so much, man. It's a pleasure meeting you. Ya tu sabe. No hablo espanol. Appreciate you, bro. La familia for life. <laughs> Yo, that's tight, though, man.